Hi, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Today we're going to talk about how we can work with SharePoint list uh, multi-select lookup columns inside of Power BI. When we usually try to work with these complex uh, columns from SharePoint, we sometimes run into some errors that are hard to explain. Today we're going to see how we can fix that error. Stick around, make sure you give a thumbs up to the video and um, yeah, Feel free to subscribe if you like everything that you see and um, have fun. So as you can see here, we have uh, two lists. The first list is called schools. I don't know why it's still called parent list here. Let me refresh that. Anyway, it's actually schools. And as you can see, I have here a couple of schools, school name, city, number of students, school pick, subjects, and the teachers. So the teachers, as you can see, are um, multi-select lookup column. It's a lookup column looking at the teachers list, which we will see in a second. And um, it's grabbing the first name. So as you can see here, we have the first name of the teachers. This school has three teachers, this one's well, this has a little bit more, and so on and so forth. But that's not, not of any importance. Uh, we're going to um, take a look now at um, the teachers, you know, the teachers list, and then we are going to see what we can do with that in Power BI. So this is the teachers um, SharePoint list, and it has here an ID. This is the ID internal column from, from SharePoint. It has some last name, first name, subject, school ID, and so on and so forth. So this school ID is created for me. Um, it's an idea for another video, so just ignore it. Okay, so let's take a look how we can get that information inside of Power BI. So let's select here new source, more, and I need to copy the root URL here. Grab that real quick, put it on another screen. So I'm going to select online services and then SharePoint online list. Now it's going to request the root URL. I'm going to select okay. And since I'm already logged in, it should show me the list of my um, tables. So we have here schools and teachers. So let's grab those two and select OK. And the schools table is the one we are interested at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slim a little bit down the table because I don't need all the columns. So what I'm going to keep is the ID, the title, I'm going to grab the city, um, subjects maybe, and the teachers. So I'm going to select OK. And the teachers is my multi-select lookup column. And as you can see, it's now showing here errors. And if I try to open that, it will say, that this request failed, the remote server return error 500, and that this specific method is not supported. So there is one way, or there is two ways that I know how to fix this issue. First, what we can do is we can grab, uh, when we go back to the remove other columns, if we grab here, there is a column called teacher's ID. If we grab that, that is not a table, it's a list. So what we can do, um, as you can see here, if I select one of them, it has a list of um, teacher's IDs. So if I um, expand this to a new rows, and let's filter on school one, just to make sure that that's the right information. And let's go back to the teachers table now, and I want to do the same. I want to remove all the columns that I don't need. I'm going to keep the ID. I'm going to keep the title, the first name, because I think title is the last name. Um, and yeah, let's keep, let's keep it short, because all I want to see is these IDs. So now we have school one has the teacher's ID three, six, and two. And if I check here, three, six, and two is Lambi, uh, two is Sabina, and six is John, three, six, and two. 
I cannot see the names here, I can only see the ID. So we can double check on um, the SharePoint list. And we can see here that the school number one has Lambi, John, and Sabine. You know, just like the IDs are showing here. And what you can do from here is that you can you can keep this table separated and um, then uh, make a relationship and then visualize them in a table or whatever you like. So that will fix the issue that we have here with the teachers column. But that, as I said, will require that you have another table, which is not a not a problem. No, it's something very um, very okay and uh, usable. But if you maybe have a use case when you don't want or you don't need another table, there is also another way. So let's take a look at that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the teacher's ID because I don't need that. And the teachers here was our list of tables, which is uh, throwing the error. And I'm going to go to the advanced editor. And what we can do here is we can use another API version. And instead of using the 15th, I'm going to use the 14th. I'm going to select OK. This is now going to throw a lot of errors. So I'm going to delete these steps here that I took. And I'm going to um, the source. And as we see, at least the data is there. And the navigation is showing that it cannot find this table, this ID. The reason for that is because the IDs now are different. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that little gear icon next to the navigation step. And I'm going to manually select the schools uh, here. OK, so now we are in the schools table. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to choose the columns that I want to keep. And I'm going to say ID. Uh, title, city, number of students, and the teachers. So I'm going to select OK. And now that looks like it fixed the error because if I select that table here, you can see that it opens all the information that's in the uh, table um, teachers with my three teachers, number two, with their ID two and three and six. No? So we know that the lookup is an, uh, the lookup column is a table, and that's why it says here tables. So usually, yeah, if I select it, it will uh, preview the information here at the bottom as well. Yeah, so that fixed the error, and what we can do here is we can expand these tables, and I'm going to say I want to have the first name and the title, since, as I said, title is my uh, last name column. I'm going to select OK. So this now will expand this um, this list, no, this table, my school's table. It will expand into multiple rows because a school is each school has multiple um, teachers. So this is now um, just a way to show you how you can work with this information uh, without having to have the data in another table. Um, my personal preference would be to the first solution because I don't like having these duplicates here. As you can see, score one appears three times. On the first solution, we had it one time here, and then we had the teachers in another table, and then we can create the relationship, and it's much cleaner and much easier to see. And also, for example, number of students now appears 5,000 was for that school one, now we see it three times. So you will, you will have to take care of this uh, this issue here. No? Um, of course, the school has three teachers, but not uh, three times the number of students now. So as I said, um, my preference will be the solution number one, but um, here is also the solution number two. Hopefully this solution is um, helpful for you, for your use case. Okay, so that's it. It was a quick one. I just want to share it with you and I hope you liked it. If you did so, please make sure that you um, give a thumbs up to the video and subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, take care, have fun and see you in the next one. Bye.